Now, the nation's lawmakers may not be able to travel to hometowns or attend family events to celebrate the holidays. Kim Ji shows us why the Lunar New Year is an opportune time for some to meet and greet with the people to promote their agendas. Korean lawmakers on the eve of traditional holidays make a point of greeting the masses of people traveling to their hometowns. Many people will get a four-day break, but it won't be all play for lawmakers. At dinner tables across the country, politics will be a major topic of discussion. And with local elections now just four months away, parties will be on the streets promoting their agenda and reaching out. The ruling Democratic Party of Korea headed to Seoul Station. Greeting people getting on trains bound for the Olympic host cities, the party expressed their wish that the Pyeongchang Games are the start of peace. This holiday is extra special because the world has its eyes on Korea because of the Olympics and hopes for peace. It is our wish that this becomes an Olympics of peace that leads to dialogue between the two Koreas and even Pyongyang and Washington. The main opposition Liberty Korea Party also bid farewell to the homeward bound, using the opportunity to make a public pledge to work for the middle class and the low income bracket, as well as to keep the government in check. During the holidays, we will be gathering public opinion on constitutional reform and to rid the country's imperialistic presidential system to make a better country for the people. We will also be pushing for inter Korean talks based on the premise of denuclearization. The Padamita party, newly formed through a merger of two minor opposition blocs, also visited a train station in Seoul to greet citizens. As their name indicates, Padan meaning right or proper, and Mida meaning future, they wore sashes reading for a future of value and wished all a pleasant holiday break. It will be extra important for the new party to make themselves known, having only been on the scene for one day. We will be judicious about what we do and what we say and become a party that works to improve people's lives and boost the economy and our country's security. We wish to become a new hope for those tired of the ruling bloc and the main opposition. The Party for Democracy and Peace also greeted people heading home, handing them pamphlets promoting their party and their progressive agenda. They'll also be heading to various regions across the country during the break to hear what the people have to say. The minor progressive justice party was also at a local train station where they vowed to work harder to create a country where equal and fair opportunities are given to all. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.